Those of you who know me know that amber ales are usually a favorite, especially this time of year as the uh, temperatures fall and the days get a little bit shorter. Amber ales and their balance of hoppiness and malt are just the right thing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking the No Lie Porch Glow Amber Ale. I do like amber ales for, like I said in the intro, their balance of maltiness and hoppiness. Um, of the various beers, my wife, who is not nearly a fan of the bitter beers, likes amber ales as well, as well, especially around this time of year. I've had several amber ales. Um, I've done reviews of a couple, a few on the channel, I believe. But one thing that I learned recently, and I don't know if I've shared it before, is that Amber Ales are the current home, family, place where you find the traditional English bitter, which was a brown ale. And brown and amber, they kind of mean the same thing when you're talking about beer styles and such. No lies, Porch Glow was born and raised in Spokane, USA. Brow brewed with history hops and heart. There's no comma there, so I don't they mean I don't think they mean a type of hops called history. Um so yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, diving into this. There's a a woodiness and almost a like a peach and apple fruitiness, which is kind of interesting. Like it's it's fruitier than I expect an amber ale to be. But there's also a nice kind of spicy earthiness down in the background that is pretty typical to ambers. Yeah, it smells good. Let's uh, see how it tastes. Yeah. Um, a, a peanutty maltiness. So that's that moderately roasted, you know, what's gonna produce this, this brown, this amber colored beer. Uh, a peanutty maltiness, um, so so moderately roasted, and yeah, a nice earthy woodiness. There's no, there's very little fruity, very little apple um, in the flavor. More so, a lot less in the in the flavor than there was in the head. And then you have the um, yeah, just this really nice malty, earthy maltiness. There's uh, very little distinct bitter hop in this beer in particular, and I think that might be one of the reasons why my wife does enjoy this. Hmm. Sorry, I feel a little bit uh, disjointed in my thoughts at the moment. Um, when that happens, sometimes, hashtag real talk, Sometimes I get, <laughs> you get stuck in a loop. Like I'm thinking, oh, I'm not putting my thoughts together clearly. And then, and then I think, oh, I'm not gonna be able to rescue it and pull it together and whatever. I mean, the editing booth can cut out all sorts of things. And by the editing booth, I mean me and DaVinci Resolve. Um, but just to try and maybe encapsulate what this beer, what the experience of this beer is for me. This beer, for me, it's a very nice, mild amber. It is focused more on the malty side than the hoppy side, which is just fine. What I appreciate about ambers tends to be they balance that maltiness and, this hop and the hoppiness, and this is just mostly about the malts. Like I said, that's fine. Um, you're getting the kind of a peanut flavor, uh, not peanut butter, like actual peanuts, and maybe peanut shell kind of aroma and experience. Um, while you smell apples and peaches, the taste is more just a real light apple. There's not a whole lot of a journey going on here. This is a real simple beer, which it's great. Simple beers are just what the just what the doctor ordered sometimes, right? Um, but it doesn't feel like this is taking you on any great passage or journey through multiple different types of flavors or anything. 
This beer is an easy drinker. As such, it would go very nicely with any sort of uh, fall dishes. It might not stand up well to uh, a stronger dish, like a, like a strong chili. Um, but if you're looking at any sort of you know, middle of the road soup that's not super rich and hearty, this is gonna go very nicely. And actually, I think you could probably cook very well with this too because of that really uh, low hoppiness to it. Um, anytime you're planning on braising brats, or if you wanna, I mean really anything, any sort of meat you wanna braise, I think this would add a really nice earthy, woody depth to that, um, to that, that food that would probably be quite delicious. Um, so that's me, scatterbrained, putting together my experience of No Lies Porch Glow Amber Ale, a perfectly adequate, middle of the road, not trying to accomplish any, anything special, easy drinking amber ale. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>